been a year now since Travion Rowe's death. Rowe was the Rochester boy with autism who was marked present by his teachers when he never actually went to school on this day last year. The autism community has been responding since then. Kayla Green spoke with an advocate and tells us what they're doing. Trevion Rowe's death hit the Rochester community hard. For Lawana Jones, it hit a little too close to home. She's the executive director of the Autism Council of Rochester, and her daughter is autistic. We need to stop talking about it. I mean, this was the second child that actually, um, child, young adult, that actually passed, um, that had eloped, and so we, we need to stop talking about it and actually do something about it. The Autism Council of Rochester has been working on making the Rochester community more autism friendly, and that included introducing a new device called Angel Sense. It's a tracking device that connects parents directly to their children. The device can be placed somewhere on a child, like in their backpack, and parents can install an app on their phone and see their location. I get an alert on my phone instantly to say that she's left the premises. Um, I can listen in, like I said, and actually see if she's with someone. I can speak on the device so they can hear me or I can set the alarm off. It's a great start, but Jones says there's a lot more to be done. And don't assume that someone else is going to take responsibility for the safety of your child. I think we have to. It comes down to being proactive rather than reactive. Kayla Green, News 8. Kayla, thank you. The Autism Council has also been working with local schools, parents, and police to implement wandering and running off strategies for children who may be at risk.